Life is filled with the unknown. We can regularly struggle with fear and anxiety. One of the things I think about is how am I going to protect my camera from an accident? Cameras are downright expensive. Even the used ones, the prices are still up there. Having that little extra insurance can relieve some of that anxiety. In this video, I'll share with you the five items I use to protect my camera. And be sure to stick around to the end where I've added a bonus tip that you definitely don't want to miss. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting each other, my name is Aaron Sixon. And in today's video, we will go over the five items that I use to protect my camera from possible damage or accidental collisions. And hopefully this will help you in protecting your camera as well. For demonstration purposes, I'll be using my Canon EOS M50, but the items discussed in this video should be available for your camera. Be sure to find these items that will fit your camera. Having a screen protector can protect your screen from most if not all scratches and it will be much cheaper to replace a damaged or scratched screen protector than paying to repair the whole screen itself. And if you use the viewfinder, that can protect the screen from being touched by oil or makeup from the face. And if you place your camera inside your camera bag while leaving your camera screen exposed, a screen protector can protect the screen from other objects found in your camera bag. The next item is a silicone camera case. A silicone case is a good way to protect the overall body of the camera. It can prevent scratches, abrasions, a few bumps here and there, and even fingerprints and dirt. A silicone case like this one gives you access to all the ports and buttons, battery door, memory card, hot shoe, strap hooks, and lens. It is easy to install and easy to clean. It also gives you a better grip on your camera while in use. There are still exposed areas, but overall this gives you an extra layer of protection. I have not run into any issues at all. It does not protect the camera lens, but the next item does. To protect your camera lens, you can get a lens hood. Normally a lens hood is used to stop stray light coming onto your lens, which can cause lens flare. But a lens hood can also protect your camera lens. Imagine if your camera gets hit by something, the lens hood will be the first to take the hit. And if the lens hood breaks but the camera lens is still intact, then you just saved a lot of money by just replacing the lens hood alone. And if you place your camera in your camera bag, this takes out the slight hassle of putting your lens cover. Sometimes I forget to put my lens cover, but because of the lens hood, I don't have to worry about my lens being damaged inside my bag. The lens hood is taking care of that. But there are times where I want to use my ND filter and having the lens hood already installed makes it a bit difficult to install the ND filter also. If I want to use my ND filter, I have to remove my lens hood. I cannot have my ND filter and lens hood installed at the same time. That's why I use a protective lens cap as an alternative. At the time of this video, it seems that protective lens cap are made for universal fitting. Notice that there's some spacing in between once I put the lens cap on, but it gets the job done by protecting my ND filter and lens, especially if it's inside my camera bag. The next item you should have to protect your camera is a camera strap. Carrying a camera in your hand without any strap is almost like asking for trouble. My favorite one is a camera cuff wrist strap from Peak Design. In general, a wrist strap cuts down the risk of accidental drops or damages. The cuff wrist strap from Peak Design allows you to disconnect the strap and wear it as a bracelet, thanks to its magnetic clasp when not in use. The anchor housing can easily lock back into the anchor strap onto the camera. And if a drop occurs, the strap will cinch down on your wrist. This is a really cool anchor link connection system. Lastly, it's important to keep your camera clean. Every camera owner should have a cleaning kit. Do your best to make sure all the buttons, the ports, the screen, the lens are all in great condition by cleaning them to prevent any dirt buildup or dust. This Altura Photo Cleaning Kit includes multiple items that are necessary to keep your camera in good shape. To highlight some of the items, I use this puffer to clean my lens. Contrary to popular belief, wiping off dirt or dust from your lens can cause scratches. The puffer can blast the dirt or dust away before you wipe. This dual side multi-purpose cleaning pen can practically clean your entire camera. You might think this is overkill by having all these items protect your camera, but if you plan to resell your camera in the future, then these items can help you in preserving the physical condition of your camera and that can help you preserve its value. That could be the difference maker. For more information such as notes and links used or recommended in this video, please go ahead and check out the description down below. For many of us, owning a camera requires our due diligence and making sure that we get the most out of it. Cameras can be seen as an investment. Cameras and lenses though are very expensive. That's why it's so important to protect them. Let me know what you think about all the products or items that we discussed today. Are you using these items to protect your investment? 
Uh, what other items are you using to protect your camera and how do you do it? Let me know, I would love to hear from you. The goal is to prevent something bad happening to your camera and to be completely fulfilled knowing that you did all you can to protect your camera. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Be safe and I'll see you in the next one. So I completely forgot that the lens hood is reversible. You can install the ND filter when the lens hood is in reverse mode. You can even include the lens cap altogether. It's a trifecta. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Who's excited for all the Marvel movies coming out? This guy. Yup. Thanks for watching. Before we end the video, check out these other videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.